see if we get it in here while well, I'm digging a horrible plug. All right. Aha! One dime. One dime. What do you think it is? Well, I made it down to my location this morning. I'm down in South Louisiana. Coming back down to a plantation that I had hunted before, found a half uh, dime out here, and there's been other people hunting here, and still, this place is still producing. You can kind of see right here, there's the nice house that we'll be at. Got a big yard. I'm gonna hunt over here, but it's been hunted quite a bit, but there's still stuff coming out. In my theory, since it's been hunted with all different types of detectors, and a lot of stuff has, been, has come out of this yard over here and up here, I'm going to hunt with my large 15 inch coil. So I'm actually gonna to try to go deeper than uh, what I've done before. And hopefully there's gonna be stuff down deeper. And so that is what I'm thinking might work here. Uh, last time I dug a seated uh, half dime here, it was about seven, eight inches. And I'm thinking there may be stuff down deeper. And uh, so we're gonna give it a best shot. So uh, we're not gonna find anything talking. So let's get out there and let's go have some fun. Now I'm going to be setting up today, I'm going to be uh, in, uh, let's see, on the ground balance, we're just going to leave it where it's at, uh, we're going to just leave everything here right where it's at, uh, we're not going to make any too, too many changes, five tones, uh, accept reject at negative nine, we're going to do a swing speed at four, and uh, we're going to stay in multi-frequency and uh, we're going to leave it about 20 on our sensitivity and so uh, and we're going to be hunting in park one and so that's what we're going to be doing this morning at least to start out with anyway so all right let's get going i came over here working this area here a couple of seated dimes seated half dime and uh, indian heads have been fed out here just listening deep got a signal about eight inches deep and uh, just popped it out you can see that's a uh, pretty deep it's going to be a nice uh, three ringer drop three ringer how about that I'll take that any day I love these relics drop three ringer all right there's stuff in here let's keep on going got a good signal here jump from 1921 sounds like a good Indian About eight inches deep. All right, let's live dig it. Let's see what we come up with. All right, let me get you guys set up here. Maybe you can see that. All right, it was uh, all right, knocked it out of the hole. Check this out. It's uh, gonna be some type of bird. Check that out, that's neat. Let me clean it up and uh, we'll get a close up of it. All right, this looks really neat. It's ringing up like a 21, 22, 19, jumped up to a 24. It's some type of eagle. It's not too far where I dug that uh, three ringer. If you guys know what that is, comment below and let me know. I'll look that up later on. I'll look in my military book. It looks military. I know the troops came through here when they came out of Alexandria, headed back south. So, all right, that's a good find. I like that. Let's get a picture and let's keep on going. Moved on from out there. It's just too hot. I'm going to get over here in the shade. Came over here to work in this uh, little oak tree grove. Got a 22, and check this out, guys. I have got some type of button. It's a uh, flat button. Shank is still on it. Still a little thread on it. Maybe, let me get, 
There we go. I don't know how old that is, but it's in good shape. Yeah, check that out. Nice little diamond design on it. Still got a full shank on it. Nice little flat button. All right, let's keep on going. Bayou Digs just found a buffalo nickel down there. Those two war nickels and uh, that uh, those two buttons. So let's check this side over here out now for a little while in the shade. <laughs> Moving on over from the front of the house out here on this side lot now. Got an 18 to a 20 thinking I was digging an Indian head. Had Benjamin come over here by you digs to check it out. And it's going to be, I believe, an infield. Check that out. All right, I'll take it all day long. There's the bayou right there and the bridge is right there where they came across. So this is a crossing for the troops. And I'm sure they camped out right in here. We found a, a Confederate sword hanger out here last year, or first part of this year. So, uh, all right, let's keep on going. I like these bullets, that's nice. Well, not too far, just right back over there, I got that infield. Went down, turned around, and got another 18, 19, uh, at least eight inches deep, and got another infield bullet. Check that out. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Well, we're still in this area. Found two uh, infields and Bayou Digs there. He found a round ball, and then I've got a deep signal, and I got a round ball as well. I don't know what caliber that is, but it's pretty good size. All right, let's keep going. I moved back out here in the big yard out here in front. <clears throat> got a 17 to a 19. Oh, it's eight, ten inches deep. Uh, another round ball. That's why I've got that big 15 inch coil on. I'm trying to get deeper than everybody else has hunted here. And it's paying off because every target I'm digging is eight to ten inches. All right, let's keep on going. I dug my round ball right over there. Came down here trying to stay out of the sun. Kind of a warm day today. Got another 18, 19, about eight inches deep. Popped it up. It's gonna be a three ringer. Or a two ringer. It'll be a two ringer. I got a three ringer, two ringer, and an infield. I don't know what these two ringers are called. I'm not up on my Civil War bullets. So if you guys know what a two ringer is, let me know. All right, let's keep on going. Getting a real faint signal here. Not too far from where those other seeds were found. I'm barely, as you can tell, 28, it's about eight to 10 inches deep. Oh, I'm barely getting it. I don't know, I'm gonna, I've been digging all these real faint signals. I can't, I'm not even picking it up now. Uh, let's just dig a very wide All right, All right let's see if it's out of the hole I don't even hear it now may not be anything but I've been digging these faint signals well I guess it's nothing if I re refind it I'll uh, come back on to it, to it with you let's try it again it's so deep that uh, big coil is not pinpointing very accurately so let's uh, let's see if we get it in here boy I'm digging a horrible plug all right aha one dime one dime what do you think it is Let's leave it here and let's uh, go get to Benjamin. He's Bayou Digs. He's hunting with me today. 
And uh, before I flip it over, is it going to be Barber? Is it going to be seated? Let's find out together. Let's get him. Let me get my other camera. I got Bayou Digs with me now. And uh, look at that. We got one dime. So I'm going to give the camera to Bayou. Come on, preach. Let's see what you got. All right. One dime. Is it going to be seated? Oh, it's popping good. Look at that. Oh, beauty. Oh, it's seated. <laughs> what year? Can you see the year? 1848. 48. 1848. Check that out, guys. <laughs> I dug my half dime just right over there. And Benjamin, he got him. What you got? You got a seated dime? I got a seated, yeah, 50. Uh, right over here, yeah. 1850 something. Yeah. And uh, right here in this area together. All right, let's get some pictures and let's keep on going. All right, seated. That's three seated that came out of here. Two dimes and a half dime. All uh, in the 1840s and 1850s. And uh, this place dates back to 1820s. So there's no doubt we may find some Indians. And, uh, man, we can find a largey too. I hope so. I, that's on my bucket list. So let's keep on going. Let's see what we can find. All right, Bayou Diggs is calling me over. He's got him a good button, he said. Let's go check him out. See what he's got. Oh yeah. Had me a good 14, 15 deep on the knocks here. And when I saw that green come over like that, I saw that as big as it is, it looks two piece. So look at that. Look at that. You see that? Eagle button? Yeah. Does it have a D or an A or I on it? I don't know yet. In the shield? Yeah, it's got something. It's definitely eagle button. Might just be a plane. There you go. Yeah, it's definitely. Let's put some water on it. And see. Clean it up. Let me get my other camera. We'll get a close up. Well, it's just going to be a general service, Civil War period, eagle button. Maybe in pre-Civil War. Most likely Civil War though. Good job there, Bayou Diggs. Yeah, All right, let's yeah, keep going. I hadn't been here yet, so let's keep going. There's more. Bayou, Di Bayou Diggs done found uh, two two more nickels. Two more nickels and an uh, artillery button. An artillery button. Let me get out of the sun. Yeah. Is that a? Well, check that out. Yeah. And where are you digging at? Right over there. I think it's a former trash pile, but huh. they pushed up. A bunch of stuff into it. Might be worth checking. Well, that's two silvers and a, and a seated and two buttons and a necklace. And there's still a lot of stuff to be found out here. I just dug an eight inch memorial. <laughs> an eight inch memorial. Near, yeah. Yeah. Near the house. Yeah. Eight inch memorial just dug right up by the house. That's crazy. <laughs> eight inches. All right. Let's so keep on going. I'm working out here in front of the plantation. Uh, trying to go deeper than what the other guys have detected and if i'm digging memorials at eight inches i know there's got to be some silver out here too it's a big front yard so let's get at it i'm getting a 26 28 23 it's at 10 inches deep it's hard to pinpoint Oh, it's deep. I can barely get it. All right, 26 to 28. 10 inches deep. 25 to a 29. Maybe this is going to be a nice silver. Look at that. That's 8 inches, guys. Oh. I'm gonna let Bayou Dig get up, get up here. I'll take you off here. Let me turn my microphone back around where you guys can see and hear me. All right. About 10 inches deep. Eight inches laying right there. Uh -huh. So uh, 
Let me get my other camera and we'll get a close up on it. Or a barber, huh? I don't know. I think that's the front. There it is. Get out of the sunlight there. <laughs> and uh, let's uh, pull this out. Ah, one dime. Right. What do you call? Seated or barber? I'm going for barber. You're due a barber. And it's a barber. <laughs> what is that? 18... 84. 18... 84 or 94? Uh, one of the two. Could be nine. Yeah, 94. I don't know. I can't tell. 18... 1894. It's a, it's a brand new barber anyway. 1892. They started 1891. And, uh... Alright. Let's lay that down here and... There's mosquitoes are everywhere. They are horrible. All right, guys, check that out. Let's get a picture and let's keep on going. There may be more out here. Moved on over here to the side of the plantation. There's a little house over here. And uh, check this out. Gave me a heart attack. Wow, about uh, seven, eight inches there. It's a gold gilted button. And uh, let me get my other camera and we'll uh, get a close up to it. All right, let's pull it out. <clears throat> Check that out. That's got a pretty design on it, doesn't it? On top of a button. May not be that old, but it sure is pretty. I saw that gold and that dirt, and I like to jump for joy. All right, we got a 20. 2021 1920 six inches deep it could be an Indian hopefully I'm getting tired let's see what it's gonna be Still down in the hole. Let me uh, set you up on my detector. Hang on just a second. I'm still digging for it. Whew, I tell you what, my arm is cramping up and I I am tired. Hunting with this big coil, every target I've been digging has been eight to ten inches and deeper. And it makes a big difference digging a six inch hole and digging a, a ten, 10 inch hole. But it's down in here. I've dug a big plug here. I'm still hunting it down. It's deep and uh, I can't pinpoint with that big coil as good as I can on uh, the accurate on the 11 inch or the six inch. And so I'm off a little bit. So I'm digging in the sidewall, but it was ringing up a 1920. It was definitely a Indian sound. I'm in that same yard where we found the uh, seated half dime and two seated dimes, Indian head right over this way. And so I'm in the territory. I'm just taking a break. All right, I'll turn the camera on when I find it. All right, it's in the sidewall and it is at least eight inches deep. Check this out. It's gonna be right there. I got it down. Oh. oh yeah that's gonna be an Indian guys think so Oops. yeah it looks like a uh, this is gonna be a an older one it's a fatty oh wow check that out 18 
1863, 1863. Found that 1848 seated over here. So I'm definitely right there in uh, the time period. Let me uh, clean this up a little bit better. And let's, uh, it's a fatty. That's a fatty, 1863 is a fatty. All right, let me clean it up and we'll get a close up to it. Yeah, it's ringing up a 16 out in the air. It was ringing up a 19 down in the hole. You can see, to give you an idea, hang on a second. Oh, this is how deep. That's eight inches, nine inches. So they're deep. 1863 fatty Indian. You can tell how fat it is on the side there. This is going to be a, the older bronze. Yeah, I was wondering. Should be ringing up like a 16. One cent. I'll take that. I think that's going to end my day. I'm wore out. Well, that is going to wrap me up for the day. I am exhausted. My back is out. I'm tired. And uh, I had a good day. Got those two round balls. A three ringer, two ringer, and two infields. Got that seeded dime. I got that barber dime. I got that fatty Indian. And three Wheaties. That necklace, I'm gonna have to do some research on to see if it's, uh, it looks pretty old. I don't think it's military. I think it's gonna be like Aztec or something. And then I got a buckle and um, a couple of more uh, gold gilded buttons. And um, I don't think they're period, uh, Civil War period. Anyway, had a good time out here. Uh, I appreciate Bayou Diggs giving me the invite to come back over here and and give you one more look at that beautiful that beautiful plantation home. That's something else right there. Bayou Diggs had a good. He got a couple of silver coins, silver nickels, and a buffalo, and a couple more things. So I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll do the wrap up when I get back to the house. Uh, I've got a three hour drive to get back home and I'll show you guys all that stuff in the morning. I'll lay it all out tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you there in my driveway at the wrap up. Well, I made it back last night. I didn't have time to do the wrap up. I left at 3.30, I didn't get home to 6.30. Time change is dark. So I just thought I'd come out here this morning. Nice, beautiful fall morning. And do the wrap up for you. I appreciate Bayou Digs. Check him out there on Instagram. So, uh, but I had a good time with Bayou Digs and uh, found a few things. And uh, for the uh, about the five six hours that we hunted there, and uh, so let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's what I got. Here's all my trash. Typical. Oh, that was about a foot deep. All the stuff you dig in old houses and plantations and stuff like that. All the trash and iron and foil and tin and all kinds of stuff a lot of these things these things ring up so good these these are all pretty old too these are some of the old ones with a star on it right there and um, a lot of shotgun head stamps i may keep those i have a big collection that i put those in and i may keep those i'll throw them over there and uh, a few times it fooled me uh, i thought that was going to be a a really good uh, target but just fooled me Anyway, I ended up digging uh, 10 pennies, no nickels and no dimes, believe it or not, and uh, four quarters, as you saw in the video, if I included in the video. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to or not, but I did live digs on two of these things, thinking it was going to be good big silver, but just clad quarters down deep. All right, here's the bees. There's a buckle. That dates back to the 1800s. I got two buttons, gold gilded buttons, uh, pretty nice design on them, as you can tell. I don't think they're that old. Uh, they, this one is a flat button. This one isn't. See the back on them right there. And uh, this one here may be uh, older. I have to check out and see what uh, see if there's any writing once I clean them up. Here's the bullets. I got two infield bullets, one three ringer bullet, one two ringer bullet, and then two uh, 50 something caliber round balls. I'm not sure on that. I did get a real neat looking necklace. And it's a Mayan Aztec bird. And I don't think it's that old. I think maybe uh, around, it was in the, probably in the 70s. These went on uh, like bracelets and they also went on necklaces and keychains. And, uh, but still pretty good find. It was down there pretty deep, uh, ringing up pretty good. And uh, just something else that people have missed through the days hunting there. 
I got three wheat pennies. The only one that I've looked, I think this is going to be my oldest just because it has that pretty patina on it. And that's a 1919. I did get a fatty Indian. Check that out. Check how thick that is. 1863. I got a fatty Indian. I got a nice barber dime. 1894. It's always good. I was going for the trifecta, but I could not get the trifecta. And then the best find of the day is going to be this 1848 seated dime. Check that out. I love that. I love that. You can actually tell between a seated and a barber if you look. See the difference in the the seated dime has the United States of America. At least one version of it has the United States of America on the back like that, whereas a barber dime doesn't. And so you can kind of tell, you can also tell on the very bottom, the little uh, bow tie here, it's not on the dime there. But it's always fun to play the dime game. I always love playing the dime game. All right, anyway, there's all the trash. Had a great time digging with Bayou Digs and at that 1820s plantation. Here's all the treasure. Like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can go dig down in a plantation home and put on the back of your tailgate and make a video. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.